In this video I'm gonna show you the location of each fuse and relay from this Toyota Corolla Hybrid. Okay, so I will have a look on the fuse box from the driver's side. So let's start with this top fuse. This is power outlet number two. We've got then power outlet number three. Then we have double lock door control relay assembly. This one is for the window defroster. This one is the ignition switch number one. This one is for the steering wheel heater. This one is for the front fog lights. And this one is for the engine water pump. This one is for the main defroster. This 30 amp fuse is for the small electric heater. And this one is a PBD power back door. And these fuses are for various heaters. And it looks like it's also including the monovalve which is installed on a coolant line. Then we've got these fuses here which are for various fans. So we've got this one is fan number two. This one is fan number one. In the middle here we've got positive temperature coefficient. Again, some heater installed around the car can be for the hybrid battery. It doesn't specify exactly what, but I guess if one of the heaters doesn't work, then you come and check all these fuses here. That's a very easy do thing to do. Now let's start with these fuses here. Here we have heated seats front left, heated seats front right. Then we've got engine electronics like multiport fuel injection system, transmission module, and this is number two and number three, basically engine electronics. This one is for the injectors. Then this one is for the ignition control module. And the last one is for the ACU ignition memory. Then we've got these two fuses, which are for the hybrid system inverter. This one is for the hybrid battery fan. Then this one is for the power control unit. And this one is the inverter water pump. This one is for the headlamp cleaner. This one is for the hybrid inverter again. And these two are for the ABS unit. This one is for the windshield wipers. This one is for the electronic throttle control system. This one is for the horn. This one is for the engine electronics. This one is for the headlamp high beam. This fuse is responsible with the 12 volt battery. And again, this fuse is for the hybrid system. Now on top here, we've got the steering lock ignition switch. This one is for the daytime running lights. Then we've got this 5 amp fuse, it's for the cruise control, hybrid system, shift control system, vehicle proximity notification system. This one is for the audio system, back guide, monitor system, navigation system. This one is for the heated right rear seats. This one is for the ABS unit and this one is for the ABS unit as well. This one is for the DCM Mayday. This one is for the safety connect and these two are gonna be for the headlights. This one is for the ABS motor and this one is for the ABS unit. This one is for the electronic parking brake and this one is for the interior fuse box or junction fuse box because under the steering wheel we've got a small fuse box. Now finally let's go to the relays. This one is for the hybrid system and the inverter system. This one is for the electric water pump and these two are engine cooling fans. Okay, so now let's go for the fuse box located right under the steering wheel. I just had to take a picture because it's very hard to film in there. And we've got basically the right side of the fuse box facing towards the front of the car. And the first four fuses from there are responsible for the ACU. And these fuses are protecting components like the coil packs, spark plugs, fuel pump, and all the other components responsible with the ignition. Then we've got this 10 amp fuse for the airbags. Now for this 7.5 amp fuse we've got the backup lights, the injectors, the electronic control transmission, audio system and navigation system and the reason why they are put together on the same fuse is because when for example you turn on the car the brake lights or the back lights will turn on then you're gonna put the car in reverse and you're gonna see the reverse camera and you're probably gonna hear the sound from the parking sensors and that's why they are all together for this fuse so it doesn't mean that if you take out this fuse all this system will fail. Next we've got the electric power steering module. This one is for the ignition as well. This 7.5 amp fuse is gonna be for the electric power steering module. This one is for the rear wiper motor. And this one is gonna be for the washer fluid motor. This 5 amp fuse is for that part of the ACU responsible with the accessories. For example, the computer wants to know if you have lights on the dashboard if the stereo works, if you can turn on and off the AC compressor and so on. Probably to give you a good feedback of the error if there is something wrong with one of these accessories. 
This one is for the gear shifter lock. For example, when you park the car and you put the parking brakes on, then you cannot take out the shifter from the parking to drive unless you disengage the parking brakes and you press on the brakes to the wheel. This one is for the steering lock or immobilizer. This one is for one of the power outlets 12 volts. I believe it's a cigarette lighter since it has a 15 amp fuse. Now these three fuses with 20 amps are gonna be for the power windows, both right and left. This one is for the radio. This one is for the parking lights, side marker lights, tail lights, license plate lights and fog lights. Now these two fuses are responsible mostly with the hybrid system of the car, network getaway ACU, radiator shutter sub-assembly and AC amplifier assembly. This 5 amp fuse is for the switch illumination, air conditioning system, shift lever right, glove box light, interior lights, personal lights, audio system and navigation system. This 10 amp fuse is responsible with the turn signal lights and emergency lights. It's also for those little green lights which will turn on on the dashboard when you put for example the hazard lights on. This one is for the trunk door or back door. This one is again for the starter system or ignition switch. It's basically that part of the ACU responsible with the ignition. We've got ignition 2 and fuse 1 and number 2 as well. Now for this another 7.5 amp fuse, we've got the tail lights, the fuel injection system, the ABS system and stability control system, transmission and the stop light which is mounted on the highest point on the back door, smart key system and shift lock control system. Now for this one we've got a bunch of lights, so vanity lights, interior lights, personal lights, trunk light, and door courtesy lights, also the clock. This one is for the door lock system. This one is for the diagnostic socket or the OBD2 port where you can connect your scan tool. Now for these two last fuses, the first one it's a 5 amps and the other one is 10 amps. We've got multiplex communication system, smart key system, gouges and meters, tire pressure warning system, wireless remote control, steering sensor, front passenger occupant classification system and blind spot monitor. Basically a lot of safety features and luxurious features like tire pressure monitoring system. It's like you cannot check the tires with your eyes. But anyway, the last one is for the rear fog lights. And we are finally done with this fuse box. Now let's go back into the engine bay and we've got a fuse box on the passenger side full of relays. Now let's start with this 10 amp fuse which is for the outside rear view mirror heating and the 30 amp fuse is for the windows defroster. Now let's move to the relays and we've got these two for the side rear view mirror heating and adjustment. Now for these three relays we've got three heating elements which are basically turned on and off depending on what the computer reads from the other sensors so the system will not overheat or will not stay under the operating temperature. That's why you've got three relays for the heating system of the engine and the coolant. This one is for the rear screen defogger and this one is a fuel pump relay. That one is for the horn. This one is for the main cooling fan. And finally, this one is for the rear screen de-icer. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Have a nice day and take care.